Hey guys, the build show today. I've got Sean, a Canadian builder. He's going to give us a little master class and some details for flush base, trimless doors, and some modern details. Sean, tell me your company name again. Uh, Suter Home. Suter Home. Home. Yes. You've been a builder your whole life, haven't you, Sean? Mm, yeah, uh, most guess, of it. You've been yeah. around a job site or two. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, I get asked about this a lot, and I happen to be on this job site, and Sean showed me some great tips. I thought I'd pass it on to you. Yeah. So first, Sean, let's start right here. This room is going to get carpet, Yeah. and you've got a flush base detail. How do you, I see you've got something missing right here. How do you start before drywall? So what we do before drywall is we, we put a half or a four inch in this case, uh, spacer block for the drywall. So the borders come down, bring the drywall and sit on the, the plywood. Yep, and then I'm noticing you're solid blocking in between all your studs too, right? Yeah. So now you have something to nail to, where except for where you have a, a plumbing. Uh, plumbing pipe. Yeah. So then the sheetrock guy comes, you pull that board out. Yeah. And then what's happening at the door? Because that's always hard when you've got flush base yeah. intersecting with the door jam. Yeah. So at the door, we bring the drywall across to the framing. The drywall then cuts out around the frame. Okay, so he's roto zipping at the framing, yeah. flush with the framing. Yeah. And then when are you installing the door jam? Right after away. after right away. drywall. Okay, so post Soon drywall right away. Yeah. And your door jam is basically flush with your framing, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So then we take uh, a spacer block. Okay. And we put that on like so, and then we trace our drywall. So he's putting a pencil right here. Yeah. He's tracing that. And as you can kind of see it like that, we trace our drywall out, which gives us an extra eighth inch gap. Okay. For play on the riglet. Okay. And if you're not familiar with this, this is a, a product called the Fry Reglet. They're kind of expensive. Uh, they're expensive in America and they're even more expensive mm -hmm. based on the price that Sean told me here. But if you look at this, this is an aluminum profile and these come raw aluminum, I think in all cases, you might be able to get them pre-painted. You can get them pre-painted, it's pretty pricey. Is it? And yeah. Sean, what are you doing then? You're getting raw aluminum? We're getting raw and our painter etches and does all the coats to it. Okay, so this is pre-painted from your yeah. painter already. Yeah. And what this is going to end up doing is giving a gap. And actually, let's let's cut the video here and transfer upstairs where Sean's further along in the process. Beach upstairs. All right, guys. So upstairs, Sean and his crew have already installed it. So talk to me what we going up, what we have going on here. Now this is not flush base anymore. Why is that? No. Uh, I'm not sure. Interior designers pick okay, no so, base. So flush base. Yeah in carpet areas, but up here where there's hardwoods, yeah. they just want that half inch reveal, reveal gap. to the flooring. Okay, so you're still using this same, same reglet, yeah. but in this case, you've got a half inch gap uh, between the hardwoods and where your sheet rocks start. But this is particularly interesting. interesting. Talk to me about what's going on here. So once the door jam goes in, we then take this other block that okay. uh, spaces the riglet the appropriate size off after the After it's jam. been cut. Yeah, right? after it's been cut. So then as we install the riglet, we use this block that follows the jam all the way up to set the riglet. Got it. And I'm noticing there's glue on here. This looks like probably PL or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so it's PL Premium. And then uh, you've got screws on here as well as glue? Screws while it uh, while the glue dries. And then we pull the screws out. Ah, so then the regular gotcha. is just glued to the drywall. And that way when your taper comes, you don't get the screw screws pops. on in the way and yeah. you don't get screw pops. Yeah. From door so you're actually and... backing these out. Yes. Got it. Yeah, got so it. that's why there's very minimal screws. And peel premium so that it sticks better yeah. and you have a better, uh, more viscous mm -hmm. uh, bond. bond on there. Yeah. And then what's the and then there's a trim that goes in here too. So though, then right? the interior designers of this house particularly they call for a one inch uh, trim. Okay, so it's it's half inch, half inch in, thick. in thick, one inch wide, one inch wide, yeah. and then you're gonna have to put a little uh, dado or something or rabbit rather. Yeah, so we kind of trim our the back of our uh, material out for that edge. Okay, and then ultimately it's gonna kind of look like this. Now this is plywood, not uh, what do you guys use? MDF. Poplar? MDF. Okay. Yeah. And that's kind of the, uh, the yeah, final so we'll look. Have, we'll have a half inch gap all the way up, three eighths for the barrels of the hinges. Oh yeah, gotcha. Um, so yeah. And then it's basically a trimless look mm -hmm. with that nice regular detail. Mm -hmm. And then this is painted white so that it'll basically match your sheet Exact color. same color as the wall. And the trim will get painted that same yeah. color as yeah. well. Maybe a different finish on the paint. Gotcha. For, for toughness. Man, those are some good tips. Now, tell me about corners, though. How does that work with the reglets? You got a couple of corners. Yeah, so we got two different corners. 
This is a corner for going around the door on the bottoms. Okay, and you can see you've got... Uh, yeah, and then we've got, got the opposite for up the, the top of the doors. So you so never have to miter, you just square cut. No, we uh, we miter our outside corners. Oh, you do miter the outside Pretty corners. Pretty easy to do. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. And then this is a corner for inside base corners. Got it. And these are even a little pricier, more the, so than these, yes. right? You gotta pay a little extra for yeah, these, these guys. Yeah, 25 bucks a piece. Gotcha. Around there. 25 Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Sean, I really appreciate the class. This is good stuff. I get asked this all the time. That's gonna be a nice looking detail, man. Yeah. Very slick. Mm -hmm. Hey, how can people find you on uh, on the web? Uh, Facebook, Suter Homes. Okay. Instagram, Suter Homes. And what's your uh, what's your website? It's SuterHomes.com. Uh, S-U-T-E-R Homes. Dot yeah. dot com or dot C-A? Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Hey, Sean, appreciate yeah. it, dude. Yeah. Wish you the best out there. Thanks for the tips. All right. Guys, if you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday and more to come from Canada on our little high performance road show. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.